The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. Is the BIS plus XRP the Bitcoin paradise, or is it all just hype? We'll cover the new payments landscape and more in this video. Alternately, will it actually have an impact on Bitcoin prices? At the moment, Bitcoin is up 1.06%, coming in at $43,231. Over the past day, Ethereum has entered the market at $25.51 even though XRP is only worth $0.58, cents, USDT and USDC are both coming in at their dollar pegs, so it's a 1% increase. On the hourly chart, there is some light at the 4% level. Very respectable. I'll take the 1,713,000,000 total cryptocurrency market cap as a sign that this is a healthy rise for XRP. Lux Lions mob tears are nearly gone, everyone. Settle in today and receive 30% back in XRP every month, deposited into your wallet on the 1st. Because of this, the next payment is on February 1st. An announcement on the project's lifespan is on the way. I am now in the editing process for a podcast that I recorded yesterday. That will also be revealed. These will be yours at the last possible moment. I have an eerie suspicion that the floor price is going to skyrocket. As you may have heard, we are currently the second biggest project on the XRP ledger. As far as NFTs are concerned, we shall assume the position of leader. Pay attention. Would you like to discover the reason behind it? For the simple reason that we are pioneers in this field. It's moving day. It's time to sign contracts. We're not merely printing photos like these other indolent NFT companies. The pack is available. We have our very own minting side common and a breathing lamp. As long as we keep going, we will have a fantastic metaverse. People who don't sleep, sleep none. In 2024, we played his final video. What does Brad know that I don't? Let's find out by bleeping. Do you recall? All we're asking for is a level playing field. So he's on stage today with CFTC Commissioner Carolyn Pham, talking about crypto and regulations. Array2 Grasp Crypto claims that this proves that XRP is the only cryptocurrency with clear legal and regulatory backing, and that Ripple is a fraud. Are you aware of this? You seized my hand, and I was about to be yours, my friend. Things are clear to us. Pay no attention to this video, everyone knows that. Everyone here is probably aware of what's going on. None of this is fictitious to him. Vitalik Buterin and the CFTC, or Joe Lubin, don't appear to be on stage together. Someone please get Satoshi an autograph and deliver it to me, we're at an event in Davos. Oh, and drop me a direct message, I'll shoot you the address. Additionally, we are discussing the BIS in this context. According to him, the Bank for International Settlements unveiled a task force on cross-border payments interoperability and extensions on July 31, 2023. Many of you are aware that Ripple was a part of it. But who else was a part of it? What exactly do they have to offer? Although Ripple is capable of wholesale operations, my thesis is that they included it because it provides global interoperability for low-value high-frequency payments initially, and eventually for more liquid e-liquid, pardon me, currencies. It is not the main purpose for their addition, according to my thesis. Is there a solution that prioritizes the interoperability of low-value, high-frequency liquid currencies? Not at all. I checked each one out to see which ones are compatible with systems all over the world and which ones are regionally specific. In my research, I came across several global ones, like CLS, Finality, MasterCard, Ripple, RTGS, Global, Fast, and Worldwide. Then I checked to see which ones are available exclusively through RTOs Worldwide and Wholesale, CNL CLS Finality. Consequently, our options were MasterCard, Ripple, Maybe Fast Go, and a Global. Ripple recently collaborated with MasterCard, which is interesting and makes sense to us collaborate with MasterCard. In an effort to better understand interoperability, I researched the relationships between Ripple and Global. In addition, I've indicated on a few blogs that Ripple and Global are partners. That is also something I remember. What a fascinating thing. 
For the simple reason that Ripple is the go-to cryptocurrency for low-value payments and illiquid corridors, and they're well aware that XRP may facilitate the transfer of funds between these exotic currency pairs, as Brad calls them. A question that came up during my podcast was, well, you know, why Ripple? Reasons to use XRP? Easy, I suppose. I don't understand why the transfer of funds cannot be accomplished in the same two or three seconds that an email can be sent globally. The solution is XRP. Would that be the sole response? No. Is it going to be a huge success when it comes to moving money across borders, particularly for exotic corridors and ADA liquid corridors? 100% yes. 100% now that spot Bitcoin ETF funds are operational in the US market, observers are waiting for the next possible bullish event to propel cryptocurrency gains. This follows the US and Security Exchange Commission's decision to approve these financial products. It will be interesting to see how Bitcoin ETF performs in comparison to expectations. Capital inflows of more than half a billion dollars into the top three Bitcoin exchange-traded funds, ETFs, indicate a substantial demand for traditional entry points into Bitcoin from customers. Investors and market watchers are crossing their fingers that the forthcoming Bitcoin halving. There has never been a period in history when a Bitcoin halved and Bitcoin didn't run to establish a new all-time high. It's just a matter of validating the rate of new Bitcoin supplied to the network. A slash might be a similar trigger for crypto prices. Did we not have a data goal for the XRP ETF 12 years ago? I mean, might we be receiving any crypto-related news here? I mean, would you believe the ETF researcher from Bloomberg who is talking about Valkyrie? You also stated that you'll be looking after the approval of this Bitcoin purchased ETF. At a later stage? Would any theorem or XRP ETF be visible to us? Is it something you're hoping to see happen later this year? You know, considering that the market is about to enter its bullish phase? This is where I usually bring up this topic, so I knew it was coming from. Listen, my take on this is that Bitcoin and Ethereum are in a league of their own when it comes to the possibility of being authorized this year. In my opinion, XRP is the only remote possibility. However, in my opinion, that will not be the case this year. Reason being, they did it right there, and the court matter is far from over, they have not yet. They continue to contest this in the courtroom. Am I correct? I haven't finished it yet. Currently, the SEC is engaged in a legal battle with Ripple. By the way, the tweet should have no bearing on the impending theory and Bitcoin, which are two of my main predictions, I really hope it stays that way. I believe we will theory him because the CME already has futures trading on it, and those are governed by the CFTC, so it is a controlled market. Furthermore, futures exchange traded funds ETFs, are also playing a role in advancing this. Consequently, Ripple is not going to benefit from it. Thus, I would go for a far lower estimate for 2024 or maybe 2025. However, the courts provide regulatory guidance on the future of XRP and Ripple. Although, I suppose stranger things are happening, but I personally don't see a shot in 2024. And I must admit, I am not paying very careful attention to developments in that area. For the most part, I've been arguing that getting any digital asset class into a Bitcoin wrapper or an ETF wrapper would require a small act of Congress, a change of administration, or a major major court ruling as these are the only two cryptocurrencies that currently exist. Some thought-provoking points raised, after all, we may just be waiting for SEC Verve logic to conclude entirely before making any moves, particularly given that we're dealing with institutional sales, aren't we? As soon as we receive this, rumors will start flying. If you asked me right now, I'd love to hop on this DJP device that sends payments over Ripple Plus for instantaneous transactions. Vanguard and Merrill Lynch have handled thousands of complaints and inquiries about spot Bitcoin ETFs. The paper claimed that by 2023, the real-time payments sector in Europe would have grown substantially. In it, the successful movements and businesses buying for real-time payments in Europe were detailed. MO Trend Intelligence was one of such companies. It was mentioned in this context that Saya and Ripple were collaborating with companies like Apple Pay, MasterCard, ACI, PayPal, Alipay, 
and the financial world line known as the world on again to facilitate real-time payments in Europe. We are also aware that XRP is linked with these companies, I should probably say to the Euro or the European Union. Additionally, we are aware that Ripple has collaborated with numerous of those businesses. Thus, what transpires there is likely to be really intriguing. It will be fascinating to see what happens today at the CFTC as Brad Garland House and the CFTC discuss crypto clarity and a level playing field. Brad has given us a little hint that summer of 2024 will be a big year for crypto, so we're getting ready for some crypto toasts. 59 cents, everyone. I received approximately 5,960 cents. At roughly 66, I had the next move up, and 70 was the following move out. The people I know find a lot of these maneuvers to be really insane. The sky is the limit, though, once these moves are broken and the all-time high is broken. Here, we can pay attention. The time will come when it will happen. Everyone needs to relax, please. Wait a little while and be ready, because the bull market hasn't started yet. We haven't seen it cross the magical 2 trillion market cap mark that you're hoping to surpass. Only then will we start talking about a bull market. We are currently in the pre-bull market stages, but rest assured, the facts will not lie to you. For cryptocurrency, 2024 is going to be a year of wonder. Today, it was all over. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Catch you later, farewell.